hopefully we're going to be able to just pull forward here a little bit until the little icon appears that it can drive by itself. And it isn't cooperating, so let's back up a little bit. Okay, it has the full self-driving symbol there. We're going to put it in there and we're going to see if it goes. And it did pull out and there were no cars coming. And okay. Got on the proper side of the road quickly. It didn't, you know, take the diagonal route to the stop sign. Oh, we didn't tell it where to go. Hold on, my bad. Okay. Now turn right onto Fifth Avenue. Okay. It has a trouble with this intersection sometimes, although I don't know why it would, only because it seems like it would have a good view out of the pillar cameras. But you can see it's taking its good old time and going slow. If I were behind this car, I wouldn't be happy and I'd think there was something wrong with them or shouldn't be driving. This person obviously doesn't know where they're going. And it's going to be unusual because this car is pulling in here. Uh, you know, the car needs to slow down. Okay. Oh my God, that was absolutely flawless. That was perfect. That was perfect. This is another intersection that's very difficult. There are people coming from the left and it's a delayed green so all of a sudden they show up and I personally cannot see past this um, hedge here but yet the car manages and has never pulled out in front of anyone it has been slow where i've annoyed people behind me but it has never pulled out in front of anyone now watch we'll have it'll run into this barrel this time see it just slowed down a little teeny bit and then went around it there were cars coming the other way in, in previously in this trip and it just had no issues with it here there's a little bit of phantom braking because of that yellow light which is annoying but I understand they are working on it, it used to almost want to stop every time and it would go stop start stop start stop start because of that yellow light has gotten much better now. It saw that traffic light. And thought, I mean, uh, stop sign and just stopped here like, and it has done that in the past. Yeah, 
not good. I'll report that. Yes, when we push that button, it sends the, the clips to um, Tesla, so they can analyze what the computer was thinking at the time as opposed to reality. And they can see the situation and they can use that in their AI uh, training for the um, software. And we'll probably miss this light if I were to guess. Yep, and I would have stopped too and that's perfect. Now, because we had a Tesla, we could have just put our foot down there and accelerated through and been all the way through that light before it ever thought about changing to red. However, that would be unsafe. Wow, did you see that situation up there? I wish that we had come into that just to see how it would have handled that rider on the bicycle. Well, we're going to get to see when we go past him whether it gives him a wide berth or not. And I sure hope it does. Now, yeah, look at that. It went around that bicycle. It's perfect. Perfect. front of this car probably not and we'll see if what it does it did a good job at that excellent again you get an a today deacon blue 